Rolling na. Nag-roll na siya. Okay, sige. Balik ako sa intro. Mm. One. <laughs> Go. Okay. Ikaw may intro. Lucky! <laughs> Three, two. Hi guys, welcome to the random bury. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Hi guys, welcome to the random burrito where we talk about books, food, gaming, pop culture, and everything else. So if that sounds like your thing, please like and subscribe. And click the bell notification to get notified when we have new videos. So today we're uh, we will be talking about um, the Shades of Magic series by V. E. Schwab. Uh, this is the third book of the trilogy. So if you're asking where are the other two books, Norman. Um, so I um, I let others um, borrow it. I'm on it. You post on yeah. Facebook and yeah. people were like, like I wanna read it too. Okay, okay. Calm down, children. So um they're um currently being borrowed, but um I just want to let them read it and then see if it's to their liking. So this is by V. E. Schwab. So um interesting fact. So her name is Victoria Elizabeth Schwab and she actually writes um, young, uh, young adult fiction, and um, there are also books that she writes for older children. So if it's um, geared towards the younger audience, she uses Victoria Schwab. Uh, okay. If it's for the more mature audience, um, she uses the VE Schwab. That's a good differentiator. Yeah, but it's the same person. So have you read any book by this author? Yes, I have. Um, Vicious. Vicious. So I was, okay. I, I am still part of the Visayas Book Club. Mm -hmm. So that's on Facebook. Shout um, out to Visayas Book Club. Yes, hi guys. Uh, Vicious was one of their Book of the Month mm -hmm. uh, features. Mm -hmm. So I gave it a try. I read it on, uh, in its, on its ebook format. Mm -hmm. I found it very nice. It's good. Um, I'm just quite careful not to get hooked sa kind of mga series mm. na books because you know I have that philosophy but like in my entire reading career <laughs> I have only given um, the end game series a shot and I've enjoyed it mm. but this year I'm hoping to break that you know okay. spell and that self imposed um, Policy. <laughs> so okay. yeah, I, I I know about the Ishwa, but just a little bit. So okay. Ikaw na mag, like introduce everyone to the V Ishwa world. Okay. So, um, I I get your sentiments about the series, and sometimes I'm kind of hesitant but mo jump into a series, especially if the books are not readily available, like. If it's not in a box set, like mm. I would have second thoughts. I'm um, getting into it. Okay, like what is my beat in mm. and then the way pa ang next book. But some books are worth diving for, and this one is actually complete now already. What made you read that series? So I started with A Darker Shade of Magic. It How was... many masya na, na nakita or na? <clears throat> what inspired you to? Or who inspired you? <laughs> So my friend Tom, <laughs> shout out to shout Tom, out to Tom <laughs> our perennial guest. So I yeah, got introduced to the series A Darker Shade of Magic, and um, in any like art style, so it's very minimalist. And when I first read um, The Darker Shade of Magic, it was really um, it was a slow burn. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. I don't like that, but. I, they get paced off towards the end of that yeah, time. Yeah, um, actually it's not that slow to it. Merg. Steady lang iyang pace and then it escalates um, right at the middle. And then I like the writing style. It's not very flowery. Um, it's not like I'm reading a thesis or a dissertation. But um, it's a good example of using simple words, arrange them very well and, you know, do great effect. And that's my favorite. Uh, that that's one of the best qualities of a great, great. author. Yeah, yeah. So you know, um, 
according to Leonardo da Vinci, simplicity is the ultimate form of elegance. So, you know, when writers use simple words and, you know, evoke really great emotions, it, it really hooks me in. And um, the world building here is really good. So, she, um, ang premise niya is there are four um, versions of London. Um, so, there's a grey London. So that's, Is she British? I think so. Through British authors. So, um... The Grey London is the London that we all know. So it's the London set in the Victorian era, and Grey London. And um, the Wale magic did though as far as anyone knows. So like if you know how to do magic, you're an extraordinary person. And then there's Red London where magic is alive. So like So it's like that get coexists on the same like on no. line of plane. Uh, line we'll of get that. to that. <laughs> So, ang Black London, it's already diminished. So, like, nobody lives there anymore. No one is visiting Black London anymore. So, we're running, like, the entire London, but in sections? No, it's... There are, like, four different... They're all separated. And um, they used to be one place where everyone can just travel around. But because there are of... districts? Not really districts, but, like... Think parallel worlds that you can just visit anytime. Mm. But then a tragedy struck and then they had to close the gateways. And everything was okay until the Fire Nation attack? Um, interesting fact, this feels like Avatar. Avatar and V.E. Schwab is a big fan of the oh. Avatar The Last Airbender really? um, series. So you can really see the um, influences sa Avatar like um, everyone there is a bender. Oh, nice. Those okay. who can command magic, they are benders. And some of them can control more than one element. Nice. Perolai, avatar. Who can so, control um, all four elements. <laughs> Actually, there are. So there nice. are. Nice. Okay. And in this, um, in this series, there are only two of them. Si... Um, si Ang. Si Cora. <laughs> Ang Cora. <laughs> so, uh, the kaning bida here, uh, si Kel. And shout there's... out to Kel. Shout out to Kel. Kel, Kel. <laughs> Kel Patana. <laughs> uh, so, si Kel and another um, avatar. They're called An- uh, Antarai. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they're called Antarai. So, doha sila kabok. And the twist is, or not really twist, but like, you'll notice right off the bat na they're very different people. Mm-hmm. The only two living people of their kind and they're at odds with each other. Oh, okay. We're gonna see the East Rob of my nana, no? like. Oh, yeah, I noticed we're gonna no, have friends, uh, uh, arc enemies. Yeah. Hmm, who hmm. hurt you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but so, you should reserve the first book for me. Once Mahoman Nasi, was it Sahara? Sahara. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sahara. Shout out to Sahara if with the need, red hair. <laughs> if you need. House and law. <laughs> <laughs> For your real estate needs. <laughs> For your real estate needs, Sahara is the girl. <laughs> so, okay. um, yeah. So, after Sahara, um, I can let you borrow it. Okay. And um, I like the world building here. Um, I like the characters themselves. So, it's written in third person. Pero you can see like how the characters... Um, Actions affect the world around them, and my favorite character here is actually Lila Bard. Um, she it's short for Delilah, and Lila is um, she's she's my D and D character basically. So like she's reckless, she's um, impulsive, but she has a heart. I'm <laughs> It's like me. <laughs> But um, you know, you can see um, the character progression sa books as the series continues, and you know they discover parts of themselves that they didn't know. And um, one of the like memorable scenes I had was when uh, the other Antarai told Kel na the reason why you're weak is because you've never had to be strong in your life, uh, and that really like. And that's true. Yeah, that's true, though. No? Yeah, because you know you, 
you become you become stronger when you know your character is being tested. Like people who had it easy, never they're... had to be strong. Yeah, and they're usually the the ones who are least able to adapt to yeah. to you know yeah. hardships and difficulties. That's true, and you know it it shows the uh, the book, and you'll you'll appreciate the character um, progression, and so. I forgot that this is my bookmark. Nice. Yeah, I got it. Sa, From your mom. Um, katong record. Is it part of the, the character? No, the oh, okay. character. Um, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> so yeah, um, I oh, really yeah. strongly suggest that you guys um, give it a read. Um, it's at fully booked. All three of them are at fully booked. Actually, I didn't have to reserve. Um, so there's a collector's edition, Annie. It's just a few hundred pesos more mm -hmm. expensive. It's hardbound, okay. and then um, it's kind of black shana background, and then inside are kind of artwork, so fan art ah, okay. mga characters, and um, the shop has kind of LGBT characters here and. The way that they she portrayed it is kind of the she doesn't she doesn't make a big deal the LGBT mm. characters you know? like they are characters who just happen to be LGBT so I, I like the I like that style. kind of incorporation like you mm. don't have to like force uh -huh. the characters to be members of the LGBT mm. community just, just to be just to show that diversity yeah. and mm. inclus inclusion yeah so okay that's a good yeah that's a good that's a good. <laughs> So it's a solid read. Um, three books and how many burritos um, for the entire series? For the entire series, I rate it eleven over ten. Ah. Uh, it's re it's really good. And um, actually, if you know the pacing is nice, um, no romance. There my romance, but Hell. it's not. Delicia, it's not the kind it's of not romance. Front and center. Ah. It's not like the. What should we read? Your boy Tom to Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that romance heavy? Ish, like the like Tessa and. Katong katong series ba? Like Cassie. Cassie. Yeah. yeah. Let's not shade. <laughs> well, I like Cassie Claire. I've met her and she's very sweet. But that's one re one of the reasons why I don't like YA in general. Mm. Okay, but they're too cheesy. They. Kailangan good front and center of romance. romance and love affair and love triangle. Na mura getting secondary na lang ang mga magic and, and science fictiony stuff. Okay. From plot and plot twist and story. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> oh well. Um. So I guess that's it. Can't stop. No, <laughs> we, we cannot stop until we finish our popcorn. <laughs> You know, yeah. any anything you want to add? No. Shout out to Norma, Norma <laughs> Stalling. <laughs> so yeah, um, pick it up when you can. It's a really good read, and you know it would fill your life with magic. Yeah. So I guess that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thanks Ciao. for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, Bye. and subscribe. Ciao.